Biscuit, what are you doing? Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? <laughs> Well, I got some bad news about my cucumbers. They look pretty rough on the bottom, but wait till you see the top. Look at this. These guys are D-E-D. -E -D. I'm telling you what. And I wonder what in the heck is going on here? But look, see those? See that? So, I conferred with a couple of friends and they say it's either flea beetles or uh, squash bugs. Could be a combination of the two, I'm not sure, but either way, they have killed the cucumbers. That's okay. I mean, we had a bumper crop of cucumbers this past spring and summer. Uh, this is a lesson learned. On the other hand, my pole beans and my green beans, the ones with the caterpillars and butterflies on them, they're looking good. Got flowers everywhere. And look, they go, there's more flowers. And they just keep going up all the way over my head to this big cluster. More flowers, flowers everywhere. So, Hopefully we'll be getting a pole bean and green bean crop. So not everything's a loss, right? All right, so uh, let's do a quick update on the watermelons. So if you look at the watermelons, they're vining out good. These are the bush type watermelons, so the vines don't get more than three or four feet long. And I've got some watermelons. See, that's about the size of a softball. Here's another one same size there's another one down here about the same size the watermelons are doing really good um, I don't really expect them to go to fruition uh, I think it's going to get too cold before they ripen watermelons are slow growers but uh, anyways this is still very good news because um, I know that these will grow here and next spring I can plant some and they should do very well. So I'm really, really excited about that. Uh, also, I don't know if you remember this basil plant that was here and it got so huge. Look at this stump from it. This thing's massive. And I let it go to seed and I didn't cut it down in time and I'm being lazy. And I've got basil growing all in here. All of that is basil plants. I got to get those out and I've gotten probably 50 out already they have a uh, large root systems and uh, they'll tear up my soil so you know if I'm gonna pull them out so I need to get those out and uh, also put this cattle panel up here to uh, stake my tomatoes to the tomatoes are doing okay but I don't expect them to do too much fruiting if I get any because of the weather but uh, there again I will use this next spring uh, for my new Praxis tomatoes that was sent to me by Patrice's projects but anyways this was really simple to do I didn't make a video of me putting it up because it's really that simple you just put a T-post in the ground and you tie a strap your cattle panel to it no problem this was a cattle panel that I had cut into a 12 foot section a while back and was using it over near the house and uh, well, it was sitting over near the house. I wasn't really using it. Anyways, this bed is doing lovely. Just wanted to share. The rutabagas are doing good. Look how leafy they are. They're huge leaves. And if you look down in there, you can see that big rutabaga. I can't wait to eat that joker. Love those things. Sorry about the wind. The carrots are doing good. I got more carrots I need to put in the ground somewhere. But they're doing great. I'm really excited about these two. 
Okay guys, so it's a couple of days later and I have yet to pull these out because I've been busy working on some other projects. But I wanted to show you real quick. Look on these leaves. Sorry for the shadows and I'm sorry for the wind. It's uh, kind of crazy out here. But you don't see any more black spots on these leaves. I believe I figured it out. I believe it was aphids. What gave it away? Well, I did a little research and I looked up different types of damage to uh, cucumber plants and other plants and those black spots were all over the top of the leaves correct now most eggs you find are on the bottom side of leaves you know and <clears throat> so I got to thinking what could that be then so I put you know I did some more research and it turns out I read a, an article that said that aphids left black, what look like eggs, but they're not eggs, on top of leaves, which is the honeydew. It's called honeydew. And I don't know if you remember on my beans, not long after I planted them, I showed you there was a drop of dew just on the edge of a leaf and it was golden brown sorry for the wind golden brown in color and I looked it up and that was called honeydew and it was from aphid damage and you, you know um, the, the the liquid that would drip off of the leaves in the morning was actually that color well it turns out that's the stuff they were leaving on here what's the treatment for that gosh I could have saved my cucumbers so easily you know what I did I just came out here with the water hose and I sprayed them really hard and when I say really hard I mean obviously it's not hard enough to punch holes in the leaves but you put it on fan spray and you just get right up on it and spray the heck out of those leaves that stuff knocked right off um, it knocks the aphids off it knocks all their honeydew off and it worked really well unfortunately it's a little late for these cucumbers but I learned a very valuable lesson this time next year if that happens to me again I will most certainly come out here and check for aphids and aphid damage and start spraying a lot earlier and all I had to spray on there was water you don't get more organic than that all right guys well I just wanted to share that with you I learned a valuable lesson and I hope you have too 